back to the Patriots wrap. He's Andy Gresh. All right, 34-13 Patriots win. Yep. How do you feel about it? Yeah. I said earlier today on New England Nation, Yanni, survive in advance, and to me, that's what the Patriots did. This wasn't a great performance offensively. Brady was weirdly inaccurate in the first half. Edelman isn't right. Oh, I think it was sure. pretty evident to see. And I think once they got the big lead, what Brady throw the ball nine times in the second half? Yeah. It was turn around, bleed clock, let's get the hell out of here. All right, so you mentioned Edelman clearly banged up. It made it, it seemed like they made a concerted effort to get the ball to Nikhil Harry more. He obviously had the touchdown. Sanu had a couple big drops. We're waiting for the offense to break out. If it's not going to break out against the Bengals, is it ever going to break out, or no, this is what they are? I think this is what they are, and, and we go back to them just being a game plan team, right? So against Cincinnati, they thought they could run the ball. They came out and did that early, something maybe we wouldn't have expected. Uh, but I think it's week to week now. It's let's figure out different ways to, you know, get Matt Lacoste's one catch for 25 yards. And and I say that jokingly, but there really does come a point in these games where it's okay. Here's our play where we got to hit Lacoste and get something out right. of the guy. So they need all of those kind of plays to kind of add up. Um, defensively, four interceptions. Andy Dalton, we know, is a scrub, but. J.C. Jackson and uh, Stephon Gilmore, four great plays, including the pick six. Mm -hmm. What can you say about Gilmore? Is he the best corner in the league? Oh, yeah, by far. And I thought the play where he's getting tackled, basically, yeah. and he catches the ball in the other hand. I mean, that's stupid stuff. That's Ty Law-level type performance. Right. And I, I think we very much undervalued how important he is to this defense because it's not like the 90s with Deion Sanders where it's Deion will take somebody right. out and we'll do the rest but it's pretty doggone close. Yeah, and uh, Ted Johnson, Ty Law's former teammate, saying tonight on TV, he thinks that Gilmore is better than Ty Law. I thought that was pretty interesting. All right, as we move ahead to the Buffalo game, we'll talk about the matchup uh, in the next segment. Again, we say this, short week. What do they need to do between now and then to be a better team? Because if they can incrementally get better, this is what they need to be doing. Yeah, I think it's based on health and trying to get guys like Edelman right and normal so he can practice more you know, synchronicity, let's call it, with guys like Mohamed Sanu. And honestly, Yanni, they need reps. The problem is they can't get reps under fire in practice. Bill Belichick, they talked about it during the game today, yeah. that Bill Belichick put him in full pads. You're not going to be able to do that very often. And it's tough to go in full pads and balance getting healthy. So really it's managing Ted Karras, managing Julian Edelman, and just making sure these guys are upright so you can execute basic game plans. All right, just getting started with Andy Gresh here on the Patriot Wrap in just a bit. His thoughts on the Patriots video scandal and the playoff breakdown in terms of seating. We're back with the Patriots Wrap coming up right after this.